Hello everybody and welcome back to Marvel's Avengers. So I skipped through some of this initiative stuff because it was just hives and vaults and the same shit over and over again. But now I got to Tame and Titan and I think that's a boss fight. So I figured I might as well record that. Also, I just realized, or I found out, uh, 130 is the max for armor. So I was wondering like, why I wasn't, why I wasn't getting any higher stuff. That's because this adds plus 10. So I was like, oh... So I think it's six points get you one power level higher. And so the needle get you to 140 and then plus 10 from this. You're at 150. So I'm there. I just got to get the gear I want. All right. Anyway, let's go uh, tame a titan. I think this is in the beta. I think it was just a warbot. Oh, uh, yep. Definitely a warbot. Avengers, with your help, we've managed to zero in on a major AIM research facility. Let's take it out. You carpet bomb the area to soften it up, and everyone goes boots on the ground to do as much damage as we can. Jarvis, we'd be able to cut off their network access. Yes. Any AIM project data you destroy on site will be gone forever. Excellent. Until they make another one. This is our chance to hit Monica where it hurts, right in her precious research. I'll send my best agents to help keep local security busy. A simple, direct plan. Jarvis, how hot do you think this area will be? Shield's bombing run probably won't damage AIM structures, but should help slow their security response somewhat. It's weird when you get max level, this bar still fills up. You don't get anything after it fills up, do you? It'd be cool if you get, like, some pretty good gear. Jarvis, are you still blocking AIM's network access? For the moment, Commander, though they're putting up quite a fight. Note that I'm picking up an electrical overload in the server room. Might be a security system. Might be a result of damage caused by Shield's bombing run. Either way, be careful. I always am. It's not so sure about Tony. Hey, not true. A little true. All right, let's go. Best way into the facilities through the main entrance. I've got a squad in the area to lend a hand. Let's kick down the front door. Stand firm, Agent. Avengers are on their way. All right. Let's kill. So tiny, I can't even see it. Oh, did I knock out that turret? Cool. There we go. Didn't take aim long at all to target you. They were prepared, that's for sure. Heads up. Aim set a team to take you out, and not in a fun dinner and movie kind of way. We need Why can to never be that way? Send us their location. There is uh, a great aim unit near you. Yeah, Defeat them, and you may gain something useful. He could drop some good shit, but let's just keep going. I want to get this iconic mission over with. Nothing fancy. Let's bring him down hard. This is not the time to take chances. Come on, let's keep fighting. Fucking finally. Maybe I should have put this on challenge one difficulty. This emote is so weird. It lets you do it for a while, but the flames just run out. I'm just floating. Watch your backs out there. Aim stepping up their game. There's a chest with gear close by. Who cares? Is this going to be... Uh, elimination? Oh yeah, the big guy. And I got only Unibeam. Don't worry, you're not even here. Come <laughs> on. 
Uh, your health bar is not attached to you anymore. Oh, there it is. Nope, wrong guy. There we go. Nice work, Avengers. The exit is below your current position. I'll take this. If I can to open it. Jesus fucking Christ. Is there one over here? Nope. Okay, they are just gonna go fight the boss now? It's usually the same layout, I just always forget what the hell these missions follow, or the layout is. That felt good. Aimcom's chatter indicates they're struggling to respond to our attack. We've done everything we can. Time to head home. Yep, this is we it. send a card, you know, to apologize? Dear evil mega corporation, sorry we destroyed your illegal data. And there are Wait, chests here and over there. Might as well get them quick. Burst. So, they couldn't send the research anywhere. Jarvis made sure of that. The data was transmitted to a local server that came online once we attacked the Ark reactor. It appears to be a weaponized mech. Monica's plan B. We need to take it Ooh, eight A preps. Hard. Agreed. Ooh. All right, what am I dealing with? Uh, this has cryo, heroic charge while over eight, or er, well, overcharged, uh, stun damage explosion. That's full max, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, that seemed good. Okay, warbot, let's do it. Just gotta talk to your feet, right? I wonder if the shield would work on those rubble on the turrets. Oh shit. Oh yeah, I'm down to one life too, so if I die it's over. That work? I think I aimed it the wrong way. I'd hit its face, face one more time. Easy. I actually didn't reset at all. Surprised. I only died twice in the beginning. Give me something good. While Nothing. Chasing her reincarnated Two upgrades. Nothing like carpet bombing aim, smashing up their stuff to help a person feel Stop talking like together again. You said it, Commander. You'll need to extract the again, precise everyone. location the more from one of the aim's 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 research, the weaker they'll get. It's imperative that we disable any hives before they can be brought online. I really gotta get more for precision. I'm a, do a lot with ranged. Missile and repulsor for particle? And good precision? Sure. Alright. So this is the last step. Oh, another hive? Alright. You know what, since you're making me do this 20 times, boom. Fuck you. We have located another elite hive that's building adaptoids. Let's pay the place a visit and take it offline. You read my mind. So after this, I think it's one more step. 
Do you have this or there's one more? Why would it not show you what these are right here? I think that's famine and maybe pressure. Uploading the entrance's coordinates to your HUD. Be careful. This is one of AIM's higher security hives. Okay, we are going to speed run this shit. Entry Hive's done. What's next? Our work hasn't been in vain. It turns out the hives we've destroyed have all been prototypes for something much larger hmm. and much harder to take out. AIM is close to completing a super hive. With dozens of floors and enough security to stop any single Avenger, this production factory is enough to flood the streets of America with AIM's synthoid. We can't allow this thing to ramp up to full production. And it's going to take the full might of the Avengers to take it down. Good work. I will stay alert for any new elite hives that appear. Did you say dozens of floors? That was six. Complete the last Avenger standing mission chain. Clear out every level of this aim installation. Alright, since those will probably be cut down a lot, uh, might as well keep going. Wait, where is it? Oh, that's the Elite Heroic Hive. Fight through the deepest level of a massive high security severe insulation with a relay of several Avengers. As one Avenger falls, the next takes their place. Oh. Interesting. So am I by myself? How does this work? Damn pressure, resurgence, great. Now here's the thing though. Do matter does it level does it matter for power level? Because he's on, he's the only one really I got. I also have a team of Avengers with me. Efforts against AIM have led us to this point. Our best chance for success will be to have Avengers ready to step in should a teammate become incapacitated. But what does that mean? Can I only choose between Cap and Hulk because they're not here? Or do I pick from one of you? Or what if you go down? I guess we'll find out. Good news. Here's my power level. Alright, let's just go straight for it. Alright, just access. Keep me safe. Fuck. I just don't want to deal with any of these guys. Do it quick, get out, and then you can... How do you do that? They all disappear. Oh, nope, secure. Good job, team. So is there a number of floors or is it just go till you die? If it's like 12 floors, that's gonna really suck. You ever look at the floor and realize there's no door? Nothing opens up. Like, watch wherever we're gonna stop. There won't be like a... seam line for like an elevator door to open there. See? Head for the 
information on your heart. Fourteen? Oh my god. Oh, last one. I'm surprised I didn't uh, use Hulkbuster at all. There's gonna be more. The enemies have been defeated. Oh god, I can't believe I did that without dying at all. Holy shit. I do wonder what would have happened if he died once. Truly excellent work the Dark Hold. First major effort Truly to elite. against us has been defeated. While we know Scientist Supreme has many schemes in the works, the immediate threat of a veritable army of robots has been thwarted. Okay. And if I think that's correct. Wow. Yeah, look at that. 100 all around. Well done, a hearty congratulations is in order. I would high-five you were I not a digital construct and programmed to avoid overly gratuitous displays of emotion. Did I program it that way? Sorry about that. What does this do? I don't know if I like that. I think there's like this one. It's also... I want to get this all the way leveled, so I'm keep working on this. God, I need so many of those. Like any better... Or, I don't know if I got any better gear... I'll look through these later on my own. Objectives. Just the vault, which I can go do whenever. Okay. I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I am done with this game. At least, you know, story-wise and progression-wise. Still want to try and get 150. Just got to find the right armor. And I do really quickly, I want to go back and see... What would have happened if I died once? Okay, let's see what would have happened. I need someone to kill me. Is that the best you've got? Hit me like a man. Come on, bring it. Okay, so you could have gone down. Like I revived you. What if I go again? Come on. Hit me with your best shot. None of you are focused on me. You. You're on, you're on me. Come on. Keep shooting. Is that really all the damage you're doing? Hey. Somebody focus out. Somebody focus on me. God damn it. I'm still here. I am still here. Look at me. Alright. Thank you. All right, come on, just a little more. Okay, you die. Head for the location on your heart. Do you have to get farther in? No, I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. We're done. All right, so I think for now I'm done with this game. Uh, I enjoyed it. Obviously, I had a lot of problems. There were a lot of things wrong with it. But I overall enjoyed it. If you want some context, today is Monday the 7th. So this game technically came out three days ago. But for me, it was six days ago. So in under just a week, I finished. <laughs> I still have somewhat... I don't know if I'm really going to go back and level up all of these characters. I am... I did because he's my favorite, but others like Hulk or Widow, I'm not entirely sure. And I do plan to come back for the updates, whether it be characters, events, or new stories, whatever, whatever they plan on doing. Hopefully that stuff's fun, and hopefully they fix most of the bugs by then. I guess since I experienced most of this game, let's go ahead and rank it. So if you don't know, I rank games on 10 points based on 5 categories of 2 points each. 
Those categories are design, gameplay, story, worth the money, and funness. So let's start with design. The design of the game, graphical wise, to character design wise, I think it's fine. It's okay. I know I understand it's not MCU. I know people were expecting it. That's why why they don't like it. But I think it looks good. Looks great when in certain areas when it's not glitching out and renders aren't or textures aren't rendering right. God, the fucking soda machine is the worst. I think it's an average design, you know? I think their costumes look okay. A bunch of unique different costumes you can get in the hero card or you can buy with the five different currencies there are. Uh, the music is good. It's like, I really wish it was the Avengers theme, but it's like their own theme now. Even the sound effects of like different weapons hitting Iron Man's repulsors, Cap Shield, Hulk, or Thor's hammer, Hulk smashing. They all sound cool and unique. But since there's a magnitude of problems with some of the designs, like the texture is not loading right, some characters just disappearing for a while, I want to give design a one just because it was okay and there were some problems. Next up, the gameplay. Now, gameplay, people have like the biggest issue with the gameplay for some reason. I think it's good. You know, you got your melee combat, your ranged combat, your comp. Starting off in the game, they give you the most basic Avenger ever. But once you fully level up, like with I, like I did with Iron Man, you unlock combos, skills, and like other stuff. It, I think the gameplay is really good, and they each like have their unique gameplays. Hulk is just Hulk and Kamala just smash. Thor and Cap rely on their ranged melees of hitting and well, like Thor for example like his hammer can stay and pinned while you punch more people, bring the hammer back hit people along the way Cap is shield, you can keep throwing out over and over again and actually reflect with it Iron Man's aerial combat with repulsors and rockets, Black Widow's acrobats with her grapple and guns is awesome and you know, they uh, do travel around the map quite fast, more fast than I thought they would. Obviously, two of them could fly, two of them have can swing, two of them can jump. But Cap is just so goddamn slow. You gotta make him faster. Oh. So, I do like how with like the story campaign, they didn't require you to go level up like a bunch. It was just mission after mission after mission, and then towards the end, there were like one mission where you had to go collect resources, but that's it. It's just like, enjoy the campaign. You don't have to do any other hard work. You just enjoy it, which I appreciate. I do like how there's plenty of content even after the campaign. You have different kinds of missions. The vaults, hives, regular war zones, sector missions. We can go out and explore. Uh, gameplay, I'll give it two. I thought it was really good. Now nah, the story. I thought the story was the best thing about this game. I appreciate in the story how they didn't focus on the Avengers as much as they did Kamala. This is her story. Her story about becoming her own hero and bringing back the Avengers. And I liked it. I like how each character is unique in their own ways. Some of them are... You get a feel from like the comics and then like the movie side of things of how the characters should be. And I think the voice acting is really good. Most of these people are like the most famous voice actors. You got Nolan North, Troy Baker, Laura Bailey, Travis Willingham, and then uh, I forget you two, but I think they're, I forget your two names, but you're good too. The only thing I could have wished for was more villains in the game. You didn't have to be, they didn't have to like even be in the game that long. They could have just been throwaway, like one mission villains. Just have more than three. You had Taskmaster, Abomination, and MODOK. And I like Bodak as a character. He's just a, he was just a scientist wanting to rid the world of inhumans while trying to cure himself. When he realized there wasn't a cure, he was like, all right, I'm just going to kill everyone else then. And then I'll kill myself. It was really weird that he just went by the name Modoc out of nowhere, seemingly. I don't know if there was like an intel somewhere <laughs> or something that explains it. But he's like, Tarleton, how? Cap's like, Tarleton, what are you doing? He's like, it's Modoc now, like. Okay. I also do wish they gave Thor more to, like, more of Thor's story in this. Because most of these adventures had a reason for coming back. 
but Thor just seemingly came out of nowhere. I wonder what he was doing during the five years where they weren't together. And I like how Cap... Obviously... Nope. Obviously everybody knew Cap was somehow alive. I didn't expect him to be in space. They were sucking his blood out and giving him to Tarleton. Uh, also, they're iconic missions. They're pretty cool. Black Widow trying to uh, rid her guilt of A-Day by giving money to people that were affected by it. Hulk continuing to stop Monica from Gamma experimenting. Thor actually had something cool with Loki and Asgard worshippers. And just Cap, saving more humans, saving lives, being the leader. It's weird Kamala and Iron Man didn't really have one. Maybe they will at some point. But story, I'll give it to you. I enjoyed it. So now was it worth the money? So average this game is 60 bucks. More if you want the deluxe. Uh, I do think you will get many, many hours out of this game. I played it probably 40 hours already. Maybe a little less, but still plenty. Probably plenty more going in. Uh, trying to level up the other heroes. Or when new content drops. I think it's free content too. But the game is also riddled with bugs and glitches. And some of it actually affects the game. There's some where just dialogue is not spoken. There's no... And there is some of it where it actually affects the gameplay. Or immersion, where there's some dialogues that are just cut. You don't hear anything at all when people are talking. Sometimes you don't see the mouth move when people talk. I've had a few crashes. On one with a, a villain sector with Abomination. I, I think I mentioned this already. I beat, I beat it. Then the game crashed. Loaded it back up. Didn't get the rewards or anything. Did it again. Crashed again. I just, then I just said, fuck it. And then it crashed one more time when I was doing a hive, I think. Or some other time. So, well, I do think you will get your... I don't know what I'm doing. I'm wrapping my hands in my headphone cables. Well, I do think you will get uh, your money's worth from playing this game. I do think it's too riddled with bugs currently. So, I'll give it a 1 out of 2. And next up, the funnest. I had fun. I had fun being the Avengers, being Iron Man, flying around, shooting people, learning the story of this Avenger group. But, but a lot of this stuff is just repetitiveness, just smashing robots, doing the missions over and over again, trying to get better gear, but that's grinding. You know, that's what you get from these games. Obviously, there's some funny banter with Avengers they have. Uh... I wish you could replay the campaign. Just just put like the missions somewhere, like in a box. Just put the missions somewhere, let me replay them. Some of the fun experiences again. But there are a lot of repetitive things, so funness, I'll give a one. And so that means we have a, oh, this is math. Seven out of 10. An okay game, above average. I think I'm giving it more the benefit of doubt just because I love Avengers. And I love Destiny kind of Destiny type gameplay, but I think it deserves it. It's good. Not the best, not perfect. It's good. All right, that ranking is over. Uh, I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I should throw this in ranking the Avengers of who I find most enjoyable to play as. Uh, yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. All right, the Avengers characters ranking. <laughs> How is this going to work? Uh, number one, Iron Man, obviously. I played him the most. He's the highest level. Number two, I'll say Cap. I really like his shield gameplay, being offensive and defensive. Number three, I'll give to Kamala. I like her smashy, like... I like her gameplay. I like her combat, where you can just smash so many people, and I really like her character. She's three. Number four, I'll give to Widow. I enjoy her combat too. And she's more of a compelling character in this than in most instances she's been in another media, like the Avengers movies. And number five, Thor. I wish they would have given him more. He would have been higher. His gameplay is fun with the hammer, but sometimes it 
I wish the hammer would kind of more fight by itself. And number six, Hulk. I like the character, but he just, it's just Smash. What do you expect? And, and maybe if they add more uh, characters, or when they add more characters, I'll add them on this list. Okay. Anything else I want to say about this game? Uh, no. Square Enix, obviously this is their first time doing a game like this. I thought they did okay. Obviously there's bugs and shit, but I thought they did pretty well. And hopefully a year or so from now, this game will be even better. Uh, playable wise and content wise. Also, I was, I think I said this while I was playing, but I feel like they made this game for next gen. So when like a PS5 or one, Series X comes out, maybe it'll play better then. I don't know how it is on PC. I haven't seen any, I haven't looked at anyone playing it on PC. Who knows? Maybe it'll be better then. Yeah, I think that's all I gotta say about this game. I enjoy it. It has its problems, but I had fun. And I look forward to playing more content they drop, or events. Alright, so I am going to leave this series here until more content drops. So, thank you all for watching. Be sure over down below, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. School? Oh, please, she's surrounded by the greatest brains in the world. <clears throat> Steve, care to do the honors? Kamala Khan. We're making you an Avenger, kid. <sighs> what? He was taking forever. Are you serious? He reminded us of our purpose and forgave us for forgetting. And the big guy is more like himself than he's been in a while. This is awesome. The world may look a little different from the last time we were here. But so do most of us. We helped create MODOK. And humans. AIM. Monica. That. Is on us. But we won't walk away from it. We are going to face this head on. Do right by the people we've hurt. Stop those who want to hurt others. But most of all... We do it together. <clears throat> Sorry, I was, I was just really into it. <laughs> what she said. Avengers. Assemble.